What up? It's Book the Wind. Welcome to the greatest sim tutorial on EA Sports PGA Tour 2023 ever in history. Alright? You're lucky. You are lucky. If you want to play sim, I'm going to get you to play really good at sim in one video. And this is the video. And... It should be behind the greatest paywall in history, but it's not. But I'm going to tell you something before we start. If you want my pitch short game tutorial, I'll release that at 700 YouTube subscribers. At 750, you'll get my superstar putting tutorial on tour. At 825, we'll probably do the sim putting tutorial and maybe at 900 we'll do like the ultimate everything but we're trying to get to a thousand so help me out i'm helping you out because this sim tutorial is sick okay so first up in it we're gonna do three things only we're gonna do driving approach and putting we're not gonna do Bunkers and all that. We'll do that later. If if you subscribe, if so, right now it is not on sim, but I want to show you something very important. You see this circle? This is where my driver circle. You see the little shadow circle that moves with the white thing. That is where your drive is going to hit, even if you rip it perfect. It's going to go somewhere in that area on that line. That does not include the wind, the lie angle, slopes, stuff. That's just if you hit your drive straight and it's flat and everything, it's going there. Now, if you hit your power drive, you see how it widens? So it goes further, but less accurate. You, you can see, like if you were here, aiming right side of fairway, good chunk of the time, you're going to go too far right into the bunker, bush, just that direction. So you could be way right if you, if you go at the right angle. Now at the left, you could be left fairway too with the power drive. Now if you go to it though, See two wood? It's a tiny little thing. You can control that two wood. All right, that's a tiny little spot. So if you're playing sim, think about hitting two woods. I know you might have a three wood, but you should have a two wood. Um, because for par fives and stuff, you want the most distance you can for your second shot. If if you if it's a six hundred par, anyways. So think about it. Your your two wood is extremely accurate. So even in high winds, like you can just put this here, boom, you're hitting fairway. Now, for sim, these circles are the same. However, if you swing over a hundred percent, so if you swing plus five percent, plus six percent. You're crushing it, right? Then this circle really is this circle for your two wood. And your power drive is going to be even more. It's going to be even bigger if you overswing. But if you keep it normal, 100%, just steady swing, this is your thing. So even with a power drive, though, it's going to be tough to keep hitting fairways. But if you have a two wood and you're playing on sim and use 100%, you can just be nailing fairways. Look at this hole. It's 440. With 278 downwind, and this is just a carry distance, it was 300, got 130, 140 in. That's fine. Keep that in mind. Let's uh, switch it to sim. Now you don't have, you can't zoom in off the tee. 
All right, so you got to kind of just eyeball it or press the select button on Xbox, which is the two squares. It's the one closest to the left thumbstick. You press that, get over you the hole. What's most important is the distances to bunkers, hazards, etc. If you see here, it's 294 to that front bunker. And it's going to be about 320 to that back bunker. You can look at that 321 thing in the middle right. And it's almost in line with the bunker. So it's about 320 to carry the bunkers. 290. So you can you can see it's like 250 to that shorter bunker. So if you thought about 250 to 290, you're not going to put bunkers in play. Now you can take a look from the team. And kind of line up a spot like you see the bunker there line it up okay if i aim it to the bunker with this wind which is going left this should be fine if i aim it here like i said consider the two wood consider the two wood keep it in play but if you press this button just factor in those things off the tee you don't need to spend too much time, but you also need to know, if you don't know the wind, press start, right trigger, round settings, it says 10 to 15, so it's going to move. So you got to factor in the wind. Think about it, two wood, right? You a standard 100% shot, power is 0.2. Let the wind take it, fairway city, boom, no problems, right? Dead center, easy. You aimed it to the right, you knew it's 10 to 15 wind. You have a two wood that has extremely good control. So you know you're gonna hit it online. So let's hit this second shot here. Okay. Part two, approach shots. So we have 151. And it's, it's downwind a bit, but it's more right to left. So, downwind, it's also uphill. It doesn't tell you how much uphill, but you can eyeball it. It looks like, you know, we'll say 10, 10 feet uphill. So maybe add 3 yards, 154. I mean, you, you'll learn over time. So 154, a bit downwind, right to left. You know, we're looking at 145. I'm guessing here. Okay. But I want to show you something first. Number one, here's what you can do to practice. So we have it on sim. We can't zoom in. But we can first press those two square buttons, get this screen up, then press Y. And you get this look of the green. This is super, super valuable. If you're not using this, you got to start eating now. Now look at this. At the bottom of it, it says 130. That's 130 to the front, 160 to the back. So pin's playing 151. So it's closer to the back than the front. But the most important thing to know is you got a lot of green short. So if you come up short, you're still going to be on the green. If you come long, though, you can run it off the green. So, so factor that in. Like you can, know, you can play it like 145, 146. And if you're playing in match play, factor that in as well. Did your opponent hit it close? If you hit it close, gotta go for it. They didn't hit it close. You know, keep it on the green, but keep, you can keep it short. Aim, aim for 145. You got to factor in the wind, so maybe you're hitting it 141 instead, okay? So we're going to aim it about here. Now, I'm eyeballing it. I'm looking at it. It's 10 to 15 wind. I think it's going to move quite a bit from the pin. You see the two lines? That's, that's quite a bit distance it's going to travel. But here's what you can do. Press start. Go into settings. Go aiming arc full, press A, press B, get out. Now press B again. 
Now you got a line, okay? So as I was looking about here, as you can see, it's not too far off. It's still going to finish a little bit more to left. So I would say like um, right here would be uh, if you get a 151 club, you can see like not too far off. But here's the thing. You can learn this yourself. Okay, you see the the, line, the wind is it's mostly right to left, a little down. And you got the line. Now, if you're playing in four to seven winds, you can switch, you can practice in four to seven. And maybe the line is uh, here instead. You're aiming here. But you can learn that by turning this line on even temporarily. So you can line up your shot and then turn the line on. Now we'll turn the line off. Again, aiming arc, press A to save it, B twice. I want to show you one more thing before we hit the shot. So I'm going to switch you back to tour. Okay. So we were looking at hitting this shot with approach. Now you see the circle all right for approach shot again this is what even if you hit it perfect it could still go uh two squares to the left two squares to the right two squares back two squares front so you don't have complete control like you can just throw it in and hit your spot every time like if you hit it to the right two squares you know that's uh it's going to be tough, but if you switch to finesse shot, as you can see, it's about 1.7 squares. So it's a smaller circle, just a little bit. So you approach, finesse, a little bit. Now if you switch it to knockdown, you see it's like 1.3 squares. So of, of those three shots, the knockdown is going to be your most accurate shot, the most controlled, just like you had a two wood off the tee. The knockdown has the smallest radius. See a punch pretty wide. Power approach, right? You might be thinking, I'm just going to power a, a pitching wedge. But look at the, the radius. It's... Let's put it online. It's one, two, three. Three point seven cups each or squares each side. So that's a huge radius where your shot's going. That's not factoring the wind or anything. So keep that in mind. The power approach is your less is your least accurate. Approach better. Finesse a little bit better. Knock down the best. However, I would advise not to use the knockdown downwind. What I would play is a finesse shot, and I would use the thumbstick to hit it high. So I would have a softer landing downwind. That would be my play. So again, we're going to aim it where we wanted it. We'll switch you back to sim since it is a sim tutorial but all these little things that i'm showing you you can replay this video so we're, we were thinking 141 it, it, this finesse that i hit high it it goes down to 138 i think if i just hit this like plus one percent is where i want to hit it now we know from seeing the line that it's pretty close to uh so i hit it perfect which is uh a little less than i wanted it but you can see it's online we if we add that extra one percent if i didn't underswing you know it's online it's a good shot and there's nothing nothing about that that uh, you can't do but this is actually very good because I want to uh, 
I've already taken a mulligan you've seen off screen to uh, show you uh, it was off the tee not this putt I haven't hit this putt yet how to putt so this is a putting tutorial this is part three all right so the first thing you should look at is to the bottom right where it says putting putter you see the line that is the elevation and it's telling you how much uphill it is it's going straight uphill see so file this is like oh i'm i'm so cool but this is more important you're more important than file this all right so looking at this meter going up it's pretty steady at the start and it's still going i would guess from this eyeballing it that it's about 14 feet added to this 24 footer so i would think 38 maybe 36 somewhere in there it's something that you're going to have to uh, adjust on yourself on your own downhill uphill because it will not tell you but you can eyeball it and you're going to just have to learn from eyeballing it. so i would hit this 30 38 feels good okay the second part you need to look at is where your feet are and that is shown where the golf ball is where it says 100 percent 0.9 degree above so above means right to left below means left to right it means your uh, the ball is above your feet so you're kind of on a slant so it goes right to left all right so that's what you gotta think that's the best way to uh at least get this, the initial part of your green rate. Now, you press Y and double click with your thumbstick. And you can now zoom in. Now, you reduce the distance of how far you're going to hit it to two feet. And you can slowly take a look at this putt and eyeball the slope now it depends on your screen your tv everything it's gonna be different for everyone but you can also press left on the right thumbstick to rotate press up to zoom back in and then reduce the feet again as long as you just keep replaying this you'll learn and you can see it from behind what it is so to me it looks like a right to left a pillar kind of flans out but here's the super trick the super trick like don't you wish you could see dots on the green so this is what it would look like right to left so here's the here's the rule about your feet for every one degree one cup outside so to me this would be one cup two cups three cups four cups now it's 0 0.9 and it's a 24 footer so it'd be about 2.4 cups so one two and about here this line this is where i would put it now you can see that my feet changed and now it's only 0 0.7 above so you maybe you take a little less off but here's the super trick so you press two squares and you have the green grid but if you look very closely look where your ball is look the hole now look at the the lines the three lines in between the blue ball and the hole it's slowly moving right to left it's moving a lot more and then it's slowly moving again so according to this it would break a little bit for the first third a lot or not a lot but more for the second third and then a little bit again at the end but it's going to break the whole way so from seeing that i would actually put it out a touch more than the line now we were going to hit 38 
So maybe we put it out here. You got to factor in uphill. It doesn't break as much as downhill. Downhill breaks more. So you got to kind of amplify it for a downhill putt. And it doesn't break as much to de-amplify it for uphill putt. I know it doesn't make, my English doesn't make much sense, but that's right. So after all that, we'll just hit the putt. And we drilled it in the center, but we hit it a touch too hard. So from eyeballing it, we had it at 38, maybe it was 34, 35, but we read it perfectly. We put it right in the back of the throat. But here's a good thing about that is how to hit five foot putts. So you can see it's 0 0.2 degrees. If it's a five foot putt anywhere around here, anywhere, even six, six feet, doesn't matter, five foot anywhere. And it says less than one degree. Do not put your aim outside the cup. Do not put it outside the cup. Keep it within the cup. And if it says 0.9 and it's going to be close, maybe put it left edge but add a little extra distance. But keep it within the cup, and you will make almost everything from within five feet. So if it said 0.9 degrees above, and it was seven feet, you would aim it right edge of the cup. It's going to move a little right to left, and just firm it. At 0.2 below, it's like I always adjust it, you don't have to adjust this. This is going in no matter what. But for point two, I would just go like one tap to left, left center, make the putt. I know we just took like a minute on a two footer. We're going to play this hole quickly and I'm just going to show you what we've learned so far. So It's 319 to the bunkers. It's 268 to carry the first bunker. So between 268 and 319, there's nothing. It is 506, though. So you might want to hit the full driver. But we're going to go with a drive two wood. We're going to aim it left edge of the bunker. Now, just, just to clarify, it's 268 to carry this bunker. So our club flies 278, plus it's downwind, so it's going to go about 290. It looks like a wide opening to the right there. Our two woods, super accurate. So we can give it a little extra juice, a little extra 2% here. And we're just going to hit it right, in, right where we want, on sim. Like nothing. Easy as pep. We did that to hit, we put that extra because it is a 500 yard par 4. So we have 159 in. Still reasonable. But if we didn't like put that 2%, you know, we're playing 173. So again, you press the two square button, the select button, press Y, you got the zoom in. It's 132 to the front, 166 to the back, 159, and there's a downhill arrow, so it's downhill. How much downhill? Hard to say, probably not that much. So again, approach has uh, not as good accuracy as finesse. So we're going to club down. Good thing about finesse is if you press down, you can really precisely hit where you want. We know it's going to be slightly downhill, but pretty much a side hill. So it's, we're going to think like 151, but again, we have tons of room, short, no room behind, so 151, play it safe. 10 to 15 wind, kind of eyeball it. One other thing to factor, as you see below the ball, it says four point degrees above. That's right to left, so it's going to go a little more right off the tee, so maybe you, you decrease your aim a little bit to counter with your feet. 
and then just make the swing. Minus 0.7%. Now the feet didn't really come into factor. But it, it was actually pretty good. It just, this uh, green slopes kind of funnels everything off the green. Here's, a, I guess, a little bonus how to hit a 10-yarder. Is you want to hit it about 6, less than a, less than a full 7, even though it's uphill. And you see your feet, 0.8 degree right. So it's, it's going to be a little right to left. But again, sometimes the feet come in play, sometimes they don't. The wind is into you and to the right. So you could, you could, if I'm actually taking all the time here, normally I would have hit this already. Aiming it here. Let the wind kind of smack it down. It's kind of fine. And then just... Uh, under swing, but be aggressive with it. I think be fairly pleased See, with I was minus 7.7%, 7 but I was plus 2% so on the follow through. Being aggressive through the chip helps. Now we have this 0.5 degree below. So I would just aim it like two clicks. You know how we had one for uh, 0.2? Two clicks. And I'm never missing that. That's always going in. So keep it within the hole. And this was the sim tutorial you've been waiting for. So hit that thumbs up. And you can always replay it. And you can always ask me questions. If there is something you want help with. And if you want more tutorials. More how to's. Um, subscriber. I told you how many we need. And if you're like, this guy's aggressive, yeah, I'm telling you how it is. I am telling you how it is. Take it how you want. Because this tutorial, you follow this tutorial and you, you learn all those little things I showed you. You will be a winning player in online rank sim. You will beat people senselessly. Let me show you something. So if I go to this season's foursomes on sim, you see me and my partner, what are we? We're 25-0-0 on sim teams. Second ranked team. But we've played 21 less games than the number one team. And if you look at match play on sim, I'm 45, 5 and 5, and two of those losses were disconnects on sim. So if I can do it, and I just showed you the cheat codes to it, you can do it too. Have an amazing day.